red sandal, it's a pure Mysore red sandal wood. It's very gentle, soft, woody notes, very delicate. It has like a, a floral component, but it's not, let me see, it's more like a hibiscus, hibiscus blossom with this, a little bit of the sour background, but as well sweet, very skin-like, beautiful. It has this kind of ripe cherry aroma to it. You can tell that this is very old. On the skin, it definitely becomes like a second skin. It's absolutely brilliant. This is my best sandalwood oil I have. And this makes you feel like a Maharaja. <laughs> this is like really um, a royal sandalwood because this is so well rounded. It has really no sharp edges. It's so smooth. It's one composition. It's a single oil, but it has all these facets. Amazing. It opens rosy, delicate, but sweet. This is the Indian rose oil by the perfumist called Indie Rose. It is made out of three types of roses. First cut, of course, and wow. Ooh, hold on, my mind. This is very, very beautiful. It is delicate, very sweet, like kind of sugar cane and candy-like sweetness, but you have this floral, rosy aroma with it, and you have that spiciness. You have a spiciness that amazes me. Hold on. Mm. I would say that this type of spiciness is, mm, is a spiciness that, that you can compare to probably the, the spicy aspect of, of a clove. Like you, you probably know when you bite a clove, you have that, that spiciness to it. I'm not talking about the aroma of a clove, but the spiciness that comes um, with this rose. This is amazing, and on the skin it develops beautifully. I've had the chance to test it throughout um, a lot of um, occasions, and as you can see, I use quite a bit, and it's very adorable. I would call it really adorable. Wow, very, very strong, very strong opening, very animalic, that is aggressive. You have that kettle, kettle smell. Welcome, this is Siberian mask. <laughs> okay, this, the odor is very, very strong, as I said, in the opening. I had a chance to experience this um, several times and Actually, the odor, you know, it kind of gets smoother, you know, after 30 minutes. Like, the first 30 minutes, even the mosquitoes, they will stay away from you. It's very, very strong. Everyone who is experienced in musk knows that the Siberian musk is the strongest. It's beautiful aroma because later on you get this body notes. Even it gets a little bit floral, like a bit of rose come into the game, but you still have that musky power that, that, that drives you, you know, throughout 
the whole day. Like I put it on and I put one, uh, just one small drop here on my wrist and it stayed there for over, for over 25 hours, like the whole day I was enjoying it. Later, of course, at night, you shower, you wash yourself, and then you go to bed. Next day, I was smelling it again, and, you know, it remained very woody, floral in a way, but you have that, that backbone, you know, like the, the musk um, that, that stays there. Very powerful, very beautiful. Um, I think people who love strong scents, with the musk they will you know adore this they will love this um, because this is powerful and i believe that this has to be you know worn at a you know at a very yeah very very special occasion i would say since this is um, very powerful very powerful but beautiful it's it's a journey and um, those who love musk, they love this one, definitely. Oh my god, wow, that is, wow, that is Sultani one, Ottoman mask, but the perfumist, wow, this is, wow. So elegant. Smooth, powerful, wow, it really opens with this, with a floral elegant rose, I had really time to test it as you can see, and wow, on skin, this thing turns really into kind of silky skin-like scent, it has this tender accords of turmeric and as well of the wood of the woody notes of the sandal woody notes and after a while you you get that motor of the musk started and here the musk used for this is actually the Tonkin musk that you can see right here again yeah this is the Tonkin mask from Vietnam and it comes alive <laughs> it's very powerful but very delicate and sweet at the same time and this it, it just drives it drives and drives the scent on on your skin it's amazing the development that you get with this oil you have this kind of musky layer you know and what amazes me is that this musky layer the sweetness that comes with it remains over a day it goes into the next day on your skin very very beautiful and you can tell that the transition as well from the initial floral start, you know, with the opening, goes into this silky, sweet, musky, elegant, but powerful and very royal um, nuances. It's beautiful if you experience it. Hmm. Thank you for watching. This is, wow, amazing.
Definitely. Now coming to the Tonkin mask that comes with the Sultani 1 mask oil, the Ottoman mask. So I will describe the aroma. Ooh, nice, powerful, sweet, strong, leathery, animalic, like a cattle. Imagine you go in a rural place where you see the cattle, the goats. It definitely has this touch, but it's elegant, even though it's sweet. It's, it's Wow, it's really an amazing, amazing smell. I had um, some experiences with the Siberian and the Siberian just knocks you out. It's like a knockout punch. And here, this Tonkin mask, when you smell it, you can directly link it to the Sultani mask. Um, Sultani um, musk oil you, you get the very same sweetness and this musky accords in it because this comes together with this oil and actually this very same musk was used to make this possible and when you smell this raw material you understand this oil so um, thank you very much that this opportunity exists for a deeper knowledge into the perfume in, into the, the oils into the pure forms because um, here we have the natural the raw material and we see the transition and the beauty to this wonderful Ottoman mask oil and I just wanted to yeah appreciate you know just express my appreciation um, that I find this absolutely great that you as house of the perfumist give this you know to the clients thank you very much